Hey guys, hope everyone's day is going well. Today, I have a really, really insane yo review. The most expensive yo I've ever reviewed on my channel. I am so excited to talk about this one. This right here is the Enzo Yo-Yo Full Metal Damascus. I'm just gonna say it straight up. Straight up! This yo-yo costs $625. <laughs> So let's jump right in. So you may or may not have noticed that I'm in a bit of a different setting. I know I've been changing up that background so often on you guys, but brief life update. I'm currently in my Chicago apartment that I'll be in for the next three months for my internship. So I've got an internship in the city. I got a Chicago apartment, really been enjoying living downtown. Our view of this apartment is insane. And in general, the apartment has been great. So I can't complain there. Like I said in my previous video, in terms of video expectations, I'll still be pumping out content, but just obviously not as frequently because I've got this internship that's taken 45 to 50 hours of my week. But enough about me. Let's talk about this absolute beast of a yo-yo that I'm so excited to chat about. So I'm going to throw the specs of this yo-yo on the screen in just a bit. I want you guys to just, just take an extra second to look through those specs and, and wallow in what this yo-yo really is. Okay, so we all saw those specs. Let's talk a little bit about them. First things first, price tag, $625. Let that sink in. I'll be perfectly honest, it feels like an honor to hold this yo in my hand because this is just one of 39 of these ever released. So huge thank you to Enzo Yoyos for sending me this throw right here. As usual, I'm gonna have all their contacts and links in the description down below, so be sure to check them out at the end of this video. But I feel so privileged to be holding this yo right here in my hands, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am. And so you guys may be asking yourself, why in the world is this yo $625? Now, in the specs, there's a little bit of a rationale for that. You'll notice that the body is grade five titanium. So this is a real deal titanium yo-yo, which is so expensive to make, but then the rings themselves are what's called demand Damascus steel. I mean, this is just the sheer combination of two extremely expensive things. Not only is this a titanium yo-yo, but further, it has those special steel rings. The combination of those two is what makes this yo-yo $625. And I'm not gonna say that it rationalizes it, but this is definitely a very expensive yo-yo to make. So just keep that in mind when you consider this price. It's not like the company is getting an insane profit margin on this one. It's just the sheer raw materials cost so much. Okay, but we can talk a little bit about the design of the yo-yo, the shape and all of that stuff. So starting out with the profile, you can see we have those really cool rims. They kind of have these like laser engravings, almost these just different cool designs on the rims. I love the look of that. From there, we've got a couple different cuts in general this feels like a little bit of an organic shape so if you know what i mean where it kind of curves down it definitely has some a little bit more sharp cuts which is unusual to see but if you look at it holistically it seems to be more of an o-shaped organic yo-yo fits really nicely in the palm of my hand feels very comfortable and in general i'm just really pleased with this one moving on over to the cup pretty simple cup a couple different cuts that lead down to a flat center with a nub in the very middle honestly it just looks so clean from this perspective and as you'll see in the videos of me playing with it, it just looks like such a beautiful, beautiful yo-yo. In general, the design seems really nice and well thought out. Those curves on the rims are definitely really smart. I think that's a design choice that was super intentional. And then the simplicity of the cup just makes this a very nice looking yo-yo and also allows the axle to protrude a little bit since there's that nub in the middle. Overall, this yo just looks clean. It just tells you that this is such a special, rare yo-yo. And you can easily tell that from the design. Okay, enough about the specs and the appearance and all of that jazz. Let's talk a little bit about how this yo actually plays on the street. Enzo Yo told me before this that this yo should play like a Ferrari. And I'm gonna be honest, it kind of does. This yo yo just feels like a tank. When you throw it down, it's light, it's nimble, it feels really good, but most of all, it spins for so long for absolutely no reason. Well, there actually is a reason, it's titanium and it has steel rims. But this yo-yo is really unlike anything I've ever played with. I've never played with a yo-yo of this combination of materials and this exact shape. This yo-yo just feels so premium and fun. It really is satisfying. It comes back to your hand with that nice metallic ring that only comes from titanium. And in general, it just feels super solid to throw around. Since it has that more organic shape and it's really comfortable, it feels like a fun yo-yo. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I had a lot of fun with this yo-yo. Just throwing it around, it feels light, it feels floaty, it feels like you can really just dance around the string and do whatever tricks you want 
and I was really pleased with that performance. And like I said, although it is fun and floaty and all those attributes, it spins for a really nice long time. It really has a good amount of rim weight to it. I think those steel rims are doing their job perfectly, but most of all, I think it's just important to recognize that this yo-yo has that great combination of fun, but also performance. It spins for a nice long time. You can do all your tech tricks. You can do all of your speed tricks. It runs through all of them really nicely. And although it does have a more organic shape, which you know in the past hasn't been great for competition, I think this is a super solid yo-yo for performance. I think it just performs way above a standard metal or even bimetal yo-yo would with this combination. I think that critical use of titanium and steel comes in and makes this yo-yo something really incredible and just really something I've never seen before. If you think about it, I've probably had and tried maybe 200 to 300 different yo-yos and I can confidently say I haven't played with a yo-yo that quite feels like this one. I haven't played with something that feels this unique, this special, and I think that's something to be said. If you have any questions about whether or not this yo-yo can do this trick or that trick, you can just say yes to all of them. It can do all of the different tricks you throw at it. It's shockingly good at horizontal, but it just spins for such a long time and it feels great on the string. It just feels so satisfying to throw around. And so conclusion time. If you have $625 exactly, and you just don't know where to spend it, I think that the Damascus is a good choice. Obviously you could spend that on a lot of different things. Maybe some more Chipotle, you could spend it on, honestly, maybe a new set of golf clubs at that point. But if you're really set on a high performing, extremely unique yo-yo that is almost one of a kind, in fact, it's one of 39 of a kind, I think that the Damascus is an excellent choice. I think that Enzo in general has outdone themselves, not only with the engineering, but also the creative use of materials in order to make this yo-yo something special. Those are just my two cents on this yo-yo. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Also, if you guys are new here and haven't seen the videos before, hit that subscribe button so you can see whenever I post a new video. Hope you guys all enjoyed this. Thank you again to Enzo for making this video entirely possible, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.